Hey guys, Mark here from uh, RD Team North Melbourne. I'm going to be talking to you today about uh, basically some of my top tips to make sure that you're not going to be destroying all the good goals you, uh, and progress that you've made over the last 12, 16 weeks, whatever it may be, um, now coming up to the races and then obviously also coming up to the Christmas time. All those Christmas parties, making sure that when you go there, these are going to be the five top tips that are going to get you through and making sure you're getting leaner and leaner rather than getting fatter and fatter. Um, to really understand, to begin with anyway, what we're looking at, is we just need to know what alcohol does to you and, and, and how it affects the, affects the body. Major, major one that sort of I find is that, you know, it's a, it's a fat burning suppressor. So, um, you know, the more alcohol you consume, especially sort of high carbohydrate um, beers and wines and, and mixes and stuff, they, uh, they actually inhibit your, your body to um, process or, or oxidate fat. And so it starts to slow down your metabolism and, and that's when you start to store that fat during drinking sessions. Um, it will also dampen your hormone production. So things like, you know, when you're looking at losing weight and, and getting leaner, um, testosterone, estrogen, human growth hormone, it actually completely switches off a certain part of your human growth hormone. Um, when you're having big nights out. Uh, it can affect guys and girls. It affects them obviously in different ways because the, the ways that guys and girls produce testosterone, estrogen, and human growth hormone, but you'll find most of the time with guys it will affect them uh, through your pec and then also through the umbilical, so they, those kind of readings. Um, for a girl, it will be more of an insulin effect. Um, so you're going to start to see that hips, you're going to see that umbilical, and then the way it sort of mucks around with the estrogen as well, you're going to start to really see that um, through your thighs as well. So all in all, not what you want after you're doing all that hard work in the gym and then all of a sudden you go up for, say, one night or two nights and um, and you start getting these reverse effects. It's really not what you want. Um, the other big thing as well is that a lot of people don't realize is that it increases your calorie intake massively. Um, the calories in alcohol are are big and then also you know you get that knock-on effect which many people do you go and have a few too many drinks and then all of a sudden you realize oh damn it okay i'm going up i'm going to go and I don't know, eat everything i see in sight finish off at midnight with smashing a whole bowl of cereal or a burger or whatever it is but all of a sudden you know what you should be eating on a calorie intake per day could double could triple could you know completely blow out and that has a knock-on effect obviously to your results um, those are sort of the main things that you'll find when you, you go out drinking and just so you know guys this isn't something which is, is a free reign to go alright cool I'm going to go out and I'm going to go drink it every single night because Mark's given me these five rules which I can stick to as long as I stick to these I'll never put on um, body fat this is purely for those one offs for the party season where we go alright cool if I do these things right then I'm not going to hinder my results I'm not going to help them but I'm not going to hinder them as well. Um, and if we're going through the tips now, number one um, would be make good nutritional choices. As I just said, you know, like, and everyone's done it. Everyone's done it. Everyone's had a couple of drinks and they just start reaching for everything. They start, you know, eating all the dips, eating all the little thing food, the party pies, everything else. You make good nutritional choices. You start avoiding foods high in dietary fat and high in um, sort of starchy carbohydrates. Um, and you're going to start to really sort of you know process through or get rid of all of that processed food, which causes heart problems and really bumps up that calorie count. Um, if you think about it this way, a beer or a glass of wine, just in one in one beer or one glass of standard glass of wine, there's around 130 to 150 calories, depending on the brand. Um, of those calories, the majority of it is carbohydrates as well. And so you're really going to bump up, you know, you, you have 10 beers, all of a sudden you're having well over 1,300, 1,500 calories in a full day or in an evening or however much you drink in a night, but your carbohydrate count is completely taken up just by alcohol alone. And most of the time when you have a few beers, the inhibitions and, and self-control go out the window a little bit and 
you know, you're going to start reaching for those carbohydrates. So make smart nutritional choices and you'll stick away from those carbohydrates and you can sort of equal it out a little bit. Number two, try to limit the carbs that you actually take through your alcohol. Yeah? High carb alcohol, beer, wine, mixes, um, any sort of like um, fruit juice, cocktail as well, um, if you like that kind of thing. Uh, they are super high in carbohydrates. So, again, this is not free reign to go out and have anything you want to drink, but these are tips. If you are going to have a big, big night out, I suggest either going for your dry wines. Dry wines are usually going to, well, you're usually going to find that your dry wines are less, sort of, um, well, there's less carbohydrate content. Um, and if you don't like your wines, then move on to spirits. And you have a look at most clear spirits. Um, you can also add on there sort of cognac, um, well, if you've got scotch, um, and then, you know, your gin, rum, uh, and vodka, tequila is your clear ones. They pretty much have zero carbs in them. You can mix them with a little bit of soda water or tonic water, and that's going to, um, that's really going to keep those calories down, but it's also going to keep the carbohydrates down. Tip number three, um, eat as much protein as you can. Basically, is what we were saying at the beginning, was with the, um, with alcohol, it inhibits um, fat oxidation. And so you try and keep all of that um, dietary fat out of your system and through, uh, through eating basically high protein instead of eating really high fat and high carbohydrates, you keep that fat out of your system and all of a sudden your body's not going to have anything to store whilst it's reducing its ability to actually burn fat. Yep. Um, depending obviously on how you go, you really want to, um, sorry, depending on your own personal levels, you really want to take a look at probably getting the leaner cuts of meat as well, so chicken, turkey, tuna, kangaroo. Um, those are going to be sort of your safe places to go and really, you know, eat as much of that as you can and try and bump that up, bump that up and make those your calories every time. Um, number four, what have we got? Number four, train the legs. Yeah. Now this is a big one and, you know, a lot of people obviously you're training at RBT. Train legs, train heavy. You all know how to do that by now. Um, it's big muscle groups. It's really going to bump up um, your metabolism. It's going to increase your human growth hormone production. But also on top of that, it actually increases your tolerance of units of alcohol before you start reducing your testosterone in your system. Um, in fact, if you do a decent leg session, you can almost double your tolerance uh, of alcohol before it has any effect on your testosterone. Great one to do. Um, yeah, train, train legs, train big. What I tend to say is that you can sort of do it either side of the, uh, the night out as well. So if you wanted to, you could train posterior. So you could do, you know, deadlifting on the Saturday and then you went out Saturday night and then you get your ass out of bed and then Sunday morning you go and do squats. All of a sudden you're attacking your body and trying to get yourself leveled out in terms of that human growth hormone and testosterone. Um, which gets dampened, obviously, whilst you're doing drinking sessions. Um, my fifth and final tip, um, you know, is hangover. Hangover. And the day after, look, everyone gets hungover, everyone's a little bit slow, but the thing is, is that if you're going to play hard, you've also got to train hard. And you've been training hard before and you don't want those results going out the window. So what you're going to do, get your ass up, you're going to go for a run, a walk, you're going to lift some weight, something to get that body moving again, but then also you're going to make the right food choices the day after. Get back to what you know, so you might fit this style exactly what you should be eating, the macro breakdown exactly the same, and it's just making sure that your body is going, all right, cool, I've had one night of fun, but now it's time to bounce back and try and reset and get back to my absolute norm every single time. As I said, guys, these five tips, I know it's short and it's sharp, but they're really going to help you out. Um, try and stick to them. The training one, obviously, I find is, is a really easy one to do. Um, nutritional choices during the day, they're tough because you can get tempted so easily and everyone's out about having a good time. But you stick to it, and believe you me, if you have a big night out on Saturday and you get body fat tested again on the Monday, it's going to be a minimal amount of change. Yeah? 
Same again, Sunday, get your ass out of bed, do some hard work, you'll be fine. It's going to hinder, not much. It's, well, it's not going to hinder or it's not going to help. That's the key thing, but it's only one night out. It's not Derby Day, Melbourne Cup Day, and then also Stakes Day, and then a few Christmas parties. It's literally, it's for those one-offs. If you know that you're going out for multiple nights out, what I say to you is just be in control. Choose the ones which are the most important to you, and then maybe have more drinks on those, but try and keep it as few and far between. Um, that's pretty much it. Five really handy tips. Try and use them this weekend. If you don't, if you do put on body fat, that is, if it doesn't work for you, let me know because I can just add on more and we can make sure that you're doing everything right in terms of your nutrition, make sure you're doing everything right in terms of your training. Um, lift super heavy. Yeah? Keep it, the reps nice and low, two to three to four reps. That's what you want to be doing, but making sure you're doing the big lift, the squats, the deadlifts leg pressing as well, but I try to keep it under the bar and that's where you're going to get the biggest amount of results from as well. Um, enjoy your weekends out, obviously. It's, uh, you know, what they're there for. Have a great time. Five useful tips. Try and keep those results. Enjoy. <laughs>